I don't care if you're Baptist, if you're Lutheran, if you're Methodist, if you're Pentecostal, everybody can agree that there's only one way to heaven and it's Jesus and it's through the cross and it's through the blood. And that must be preached and we can, we can agree on these things and we can amen these things and we can affirm these things, but will we live them out? And will we live the gospel and will we allow it to change the world that we live in? Because if we really believe that there's power in it, we'll preach it and we'll release it. There's a lot more power in the gospel than is being demonstrated by the church. I think in, in many ways the church has become harmless. We were always meant to be the aggressors. We were always meant to be the hunters. We were always meant to be the overcomers. Christianity is intended to be offensive. And as you go, Jesus says, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, now freely give. Jesus said, as you go, that's right, you, even if you're not a professional preacher, even if you don't have a television show, even if you don't have a ministry, even if you don't get paid to do it, you are a servant of God. And the power of the gospel is inside of you. If we could learn to put our confidence in the power of the gospel, to trust it, it really works. If you could just learn to put your trust in it, it would make you fearless. He didn't perform miracles to show what he could do. He performed miracles to show what you can do. He was our example. Jesus. We have to learn to put our trust in it. 